Britain may be the Isle of Sandwiches, but it's also the land of upscale lunches. British workers spend an average of 3,500 euros annually for lunch and snacks, as people hate to eat the same thing all the time. I bought some smoked salmon and some vegetables. But today there's more choice. So this is Italian from down the end, it's very good. I normally eat salad. Yeah, salad with um, tuna, tuna fish or salmon. Pretty pricey, but I don't mind. It's a beef and vegetable pasta. People have higher expectations these days of lunch. Leftover lasagna from last night's dinner no longer cuts the mustard. A spate of cookbooks have recently appeared to meet the demand for gourmet lunches and snacks. One is Love Your Lunchbox by James Ramsden. It recommends such delectable recipes as the three cheese toasty with spinach and chili jam or chickpeas with mango chutney. The London-based chef sees a growing demand for such food. I think people certainly are a lot more conscious about what they eat because they're constantly being told, well, you should eat this way or that way. And, and I think that's... I think it can be a bit misleading, but I think broadly speaking it's a good thing that people are thinking more about what they put in their mouths. And so at lunchtime they don't just want to go and mindlessly go down the sandwich shop and buy whatever kind of first appeals to them. Ramsden snacks have to be tasty and suitable for lunch breaks, like avocado on toast with green onions and lime puree. They have to take no longer than 20 minutes to make and keep in the fridge for at least three days. Some of his snacks require one last step just before eating. A few seconds in the toaster, microwave or electric kettle of the kind found in most office kitchens. Ramsden's idea is to save money and time. Even the most exotic dishes have to be easy to carry and prepare. As with all the recipes in the book, it's divided into what you can do at home or what you need to do at home, what you put in your lunchbox and then what you do at the office to finish it off. His Asian noodles are a perfect example. Just add the curry paste brought from home to the pre-cooked noodles, add hot water and enjoy a meal of udon noodles with miso and sesame. So many friends had already said to me, um, I'm bored of going to the sandwich shop and having the same sandwich and packet of crisps and a drink and it's always so expensive. Anglo-Saxons have their sandwiches and Germans have their dark bread. Over half bring their lunch from home, but here too, lunchtime habits are changing. Many Germans are spending more on food and drink. I always take bread slices from home and eat them at my desk, unfortunately. We don't bring anything from home, we go out to eat. We always get something to go, that's fast. A study has shown that Germans spend an average of 20 minutes at lunch, and two-thirds of the British even less. Anna Pinder and Naomi Twigden spotted an opportunity here. Their startup, Lunch BXD, delivers such meals as quinoa salad with orange and cabbage right to the desks of London professionals. The meals were co-developed by a nutritional consultant, and the menu changes weekly. They're packed into recyclable lunch boxes. Bicycle couriers deliver them to as many as 150 customers a day. Demand has been growing steadily. It is a pretty massive market, I think, especially at the moment with the, uh, like, everyone's very concerned about healthy food and healthy living. Professionally packed lunch boxes have a tradition in other countries, like India's Tiffin boxes and Japan's Bento boxes. On the internet, taste is in the eye of the beholder, as Anna and Naomi well know. We like to try and make them interesting and fun as well for people. So we put in different snacks. So every week we speak to different snack companies. And so like this week we've got the buttons and miso soup. Yeah, so they're really cool. coconut milk buttons made with raw cacao. So it's kind of like a healthy, fun take on the sort of things you get in lunchbox when you're younger. Yeah. Such designer lunchboxes don't come cheap, but one can rest assured that the veggies are fresh from a London produce market and the herbs from the company's own garden. Healthy eating and quick cuisine are no longer natural enemies.